Dear students, in this video, we are going to discuss career concentration in n-type semiconductor. So, n-type semiconductors means the majority charge carriers are electrons. The majority charge carriers are electrons. Okay. So, here carrier concentration represents electrons only. In other method also they can ask that is density of charge carrier in n-type semiconductor. Both represents electrons in n-type semiconductor. Electrons in n-type semiconductor. So how to find this electrons in n-type semiconductor? So now I am going to write this Ne. What is Ne? Number of electrons in the conduction band. Okay. So Ne is equal to the same expression 2 into okay, 2 pi. M E star K T divided by H square whole to the power of 3 by 2. Okay. Exponential of E F minus E C divided by K T. So what is this N E represents number of electrons in the conduction band. But in the N type we are adding the pentavalent impurities. So more number of electrons will go to the conduction band. So how this expression will be changed for N type semiconductor. Okay. So now you see this I am considering equation number 1. Okay. And then in previous video I mentioned the Fermi and energy at a different T temper different temperature T. Okay. At that means for example in uh, to find the Fermi energy we use the concept T is equal to 0 Kelvin. T is equal to 0 Kelvin. But remaining temperature and all what is the EF value? This EF. EF is equal to KT by 2 log of this much plus EC plus ED by 2. So this is what I mentioned already you have to note down. Okay. So this EF value I am going to substitute in the place of EF. Okay. So now I will write once again this expression there and then I will substitute. So for your convenience. So now listen here. In the place of EF. Okay. This is the EF. This EF. Okay. This part. So now I am going to write that expression from there. That is the equation 5 already we mentioned there. Right. That only I am going to write here. EF is equal to what is that? KT by 2 log of kt by 2 log of nd divided by 2 2 pi m e star kt divided by h square whole to the power of 3 by 2 okay this is first term plus ec plus ed divided by 2 right this is what that expression so this i am considering 2 here okay for our convenience this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 in the place of ef i have to write this full expression there okay the next step is substitute equation 2 in equation 1 equation 2 in equation 1 so now equation 1 is Ne, number of electrons is equal to. So as such I am going to copy all the terms here. First term is 2. Okay, next one will be 2 pi m e star kt divided by h square whole to the power of 3 by 2. Okay, next step is exponential. This also I am considering. Okay, here instead of EF, the full expression to be copied there. So I am opening one big bracket. Okay, in place of EF, write this full expression KT by 2 log of okay, ND divided by 2, 2 pi M E star KT divided by H square whole to the power of 3 by 2. The first term I have written plus EC plus ED by 2. This is the second term. Okay. And then now you see the EF totally I have written. Okay. Minus e, EC is there. Minus EC. Okay. Instead of EF I copied this equation 5 and minus EC whole divided by KT. So whole divided by KT. Okay. This is what the expression now. Now you see 
in this exponential term okay in this exponential term this is term this is first term okay i will write this is first term this is second term this is third term okay three terms whole divided by kt is there so for my convenience what i am going to do is i am going to combine second term and the third term by taking the lcm okay by taking the lcm and then this divided by kt is there no that also i am going to divide okay instead of writing three terms i am going to write it as two term and then this kt also i am going to divide okay so just to follow me to understand so what is the next step here n e is equal to n e is equal to 2 into 2 pi m e star k t divided by h square whole to the power of 3 by 2 right exponential i am opening the bracket first term what is there k t by 2 log of okay n d divided by 2 and then again we have to write the same thing m e star k t divided by h square whole to the power of 3 by 2 close the bracket okay this is the first term k t right up uh, first term over next to what is there in that second term plus okay in second term e c plus e d okay and then by 2 is there okay minus okay that ec also i am going to change so 2 ec whole divided by kt here 2 kt will come right so this bracket i am closing right so here you see the first term kt here also kt is there i am cancelling so what is that 2 into 2 pi m e star kt divided by h square whole to the power of 3 by 2 exponential of okay so which is remaining here 1 by 2 log of n d divided by 2 2 pi m e star kt divided by h square whole to the power of 3 by 2 okay this bracket i am closing plus here minus 2 e c here plus e c so how can we write e d minus e c right e d minus e c divided by 2 k t right here you see 1 by 2 log of x for our here i write 1 by 2 log of x so how can we write log of x power 1 by 2 right but in the place of x we have three terms one is n d Two and this bracket. So three terms for the three terms, I am going to include this one by two, that power, in the next step. So how can I am going to write two into two pi m e star k t divided by h square whole to the power of three by two. Okay, and then exponential of okay. This one by two is going for all the terms. So log of n d power 1 by 2 x power 1 by 2 n d power 1 by 2 and then 2 power 1 by 2 for this term and the next 2 pi m e star k t divided by h square whole to the power of already 3 by 2 is there with that we are including 1 by 2 so it will become 3 by 4 right so it will become 3 by 4 plus is e d minus e c divided by 2 k t right the next step is include this exponential inside so what is there exponential of a plus to b so how can we write exponential of a into exponential of b so 2 2 pi m e star k t divided by h square whole to the power of 3 by 2 this exponential we are taking inside so the exponential and the log will be cancelled with each other so what is there n d power 1 by 2 2 power 1 by 2 2 pi m e star k t divided by h square whole to the power of 3 by 
exponential a over into exponential of b. What is b? ed minus ec divided by 2kt. Right? This is exponential of b. Now you see here root of 2 is there. Here 2 is there. So how can we cancel now? 2 divided by root 2. So how can we write root 2 into root 2 divided by root 2? So this will be cancelled. 1 root 2 will be there. Okay, that is 2 power 1 by 2. Okay, and the nd is also having the power 1 by 2. nd also having the power 1 by 2. This 2 I have written here. This and this will be cancelled so that we will get 2 power 1 by 2. And here you see 3 by 2. Okay, I will write in the next page. Okay. So what is there? 2 is having the power 1 by 2 and the nd is also having the power 1 by 2 and then here you see x power 3 by 2 is there divided by x power 3 by 4. So how can we write x power 3 by 2 minus 3 by 4 right if you taking this LCM 6 minus 3 so that x power 3 by 4 will come. So, same thing for the bracket 2 pi m e star k t divided by h square whole to the power of 3 by 4 will come. 3 by 4. Okay. And then exponential of e d minus e c divided by 2 k t. That's it. So, next step simple nothing I am doing. Both are having the same power. So, I am going to write within the single bracket. 2 nd power 1 by 2. Remaining as such you can copy 2 pi m e star k t divided by h square whole to the power of 3 by 4 exponential of this e d minus e c is there no? So e d is the donor energy level and e c is the conduction band energy. e d minus e c what is that? From donor energy level only, the electrons are going to the conduction band. Okay, so that it creates the hole here. So the electron should get energy to jump from ED to EC. Okay, that energy is called ionization energy. That energy is called ionization energy, which is written as delta E. The energy required to remove the electron from donor energy level to the conduction band. So, how can we write EC minus ED is delta E. So, here if I am changing this, if I am changing ED minus EC means ED minus EC is equal to minus delta E. So, this part I am going to substitute here minus delta E divided by 2 kT. Okay, so this is the final expression for n type that is number of electrons in the n type semiconductors or the charge carriers in the n type semiconductors. Ne represents number of electrons. So n type means electrons are the charge carriers. So how many number of electrons present in the n type semiconductors can be get by means of this expression n e is equal to 2 n d power 1 by 2 okay here 2 is the numerical number n d is the number of donor energy states 2 is the numerical number pi again constant m e star is the effective mass of electron k is the Boltzmann constant t is the temperature h is the uh, Planck's constant again minus delta e here delta e is the ionization energy ionization energy what is that ionization energy energy required energy required to remove an electron from donor energy level to energy level to conduction band to conduction band okay why because the donor actually previously we mentioned donor atom so now if the atom releases the electron means it becomes ions that's what it is called ionization energy making ions ionization energy so this is what the final expression for n-type semiconductors charge carriers in n-type semiconductors i hope you understand this derivation part 
the derivation looks little lengthy but the steps are very simple so please try this if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment box okay so thank you everyone